Venezuela's National Assembly recently approved a national referendum that would seek support for Venezuela's defense of the Disputa Esequibo, a resource-rich strip of land controlled and administered by neighboring Guyana. Guyana's president, Irfan Ali, called Venezuela's planned referendum an affront to the rule of international law. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, in turn, accused Ali of hypocrisy and false victimization, claiming he is turning Guyana into a branch of ExxonMobil and allowing the United States to turn it into a military base against Bolivar's Venezuela. The U.S. has previously denied having any plans to set up a military base in Guyana. Maduro also accused Ali of trying to hide the historical truth that weighs on the Essequibo territorial dispute, adding, the steps your government is taking violate international legality and jeopardize peace in the region. That is misleading. Guyana, in fact, appealed to the United Nations International Court of Justice in line with the Geneva Agreement of 1966 to resolve the border dispute peacefully. Offshore energy resources are at the heart of the dispute. An ExxonMobil-led consortium that includes the American company Hess Corporation and Beijing's China National Offshore Oil Corporation is developing the Stalberg oil and gas block off Guyana's Atlantic coast. In claiming S.A. Kibo, Venezuela says the Stalberg block falls within its 200-mile exclusive economic zone, not Guyana's. In 2013, Venezuela seized a U.S.-operated oil ship sailing in the area, and in 2018 it intercepted a vessel conducting a seismic survey for Exxon. In 2020, the United States, which supports Guyana's territorial claim, announced it would conduct joint patrols with Guyana in the disputed maritime region.